This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Check for understanding. Match the term to the correct definition. All right. Array list. Now, students, as always, when you see one of these, let's go ahead and look at lesson three array list. Oh, that is, well, this is documentation. Regardless, that would help, but we can also go about it this way. Let's head to lesson resources and we could look up vocab words here. Boom. For each lesson. So, Array list, mutable, let's see what we have, an array list. Let's see, converting formatted text into a different type. The process of automatically converting a primitive type value into an object of the corresponding graphic class, nah. A class that represents a sizable list. The ability to change after initialization. Whale, array list, a class that represents a resizable list, qua pow. So you should read through these and think about them, even take a shot at them, but make sure you do use your resources, mutable, mm -hmm. or autoboxing. Ooh, autoboxing is why we can define integer with an equal sign or with new. Was that one of the vocab words in this? Nope. But mutable is the ability to change after initialization. Oop, perfect. Parsing, the process of mad, mad nope. Converting formatted text into a different type into a different data type process of automatically confirming primitive values. But again, hey, maybe you're not sure. Let's use our resources here. And autoboxing, process of automatically converting a primitive type into an object of corresponding wrapper class. The process of automatically converting primitive type into an object of corresponding wrapper class. Ta-da! Cool. And we saw this, especially when we did integer, you know, x equals, and you can do new integer and have 10 in parentheses, or you can say integer x equals 10, and that will also create an instantiation, an, an object instantiated by the class equal to 10. Onward.